I, uh, I didn't want to do this. I definitely wanted to avoid it at all costs, but it seems that it is time to do another issue of Supernatural Thrillers. Gosh, I can't, I can't take it anymore, man. My heart, it can't take the thrills. And look at this time, we have to deal with the headless horse individual. Uh, and he's not riding but once, but he's riding again. Which means at some point, he's previously ridden before. God damn it. Riding again. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine? Look at this guy. Look at this maniac. He's a Skelebones. And look at him. He's throwing his own head at somebody. Which, when you really think about it realistically, is probably the worst kind of attack because you're basically disabling yourself. I mean, after that, what are you going to do with your head? It's crazy. He haunts the Midnight Hills today. Probably not tomorrow, though, because he no longer has a head. Definitely yesterday. But absolutely today. And today, we are going to see what he does when he haunts the hills. Let's see. Stan Lee presents, which, which is akin to saying nothing. Gary Friedrich, uh, George Tuska, Jack Abel, Artie Simic, and then... Glynis Wine? Oh, and Roy Thomas, editor, because this came out in 1972, I believe. 19 tickety two. This was 73 by the Marvel Comics Group. Very nice. Let's see. Okay, well, he that, that looks like a ghost. That just straight looks like a ghost. I'm not too familiar with the origins and mythology of the Headless Horseman, but, uh... Well, hopefully we get an explanation here. And so, continued Dake Durbano, private investigator, Ichabod Crane felt the hot breath of his pursuers charging on the back of his neck. He ran faster and faster to the far side of the bridge, knowing full well the next moment could very well be his last. What is that? Is that a flaming pumpkin? The story was at its end, but still, Durbano felt a terrifying tingle race up his spine. For there was evidence that the old Washington Irving tale may not have been all fiction. What? Explain. How are you going to do that? How are you going to throw your head at somebody? That's foolish. Buy a gun, Headless Horseman. It's 1973. Those things were available. God. For unknown to all, the Headless Horseman rides again. Like he couldn't take care of this problem the first time it happened, he's got to ride again? My god. I can't take the suspense of these Marvel comics. They're, they're, doing a, they're doing a number to my heart, I tell you that much. So the next morning, Ichabod wasn't anywhere to be found. Out by the bridge, some of the townspeople found the broken down old nag he'd been riding. And some pieces of a shattered pumpkin scattered around the bridge floor. But what happened to Ichabod? Did the Headless Horseman get him? Nah, I don't fucking know. Nobody knows for sure. Ichabod was never seen again and his body never found. But it's up to you to decide if there was really a Headless Horseman or if Brom Bones did old Ichabod in. Mommy, did you hear the story Mr. Durbano told us? Do you know there was a Headless Horseman, Mommy? Yeah, no one can answer that, darling, but I can tell you, uh, thanks to Mr. Durbani, and go to bed. Yeah, say thank you for the horrible story that's gonna keep me awake. At least I'm doing this during the daytime this time. That's nice. That makes things easier. It's way past your bedtimes. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Mr. Durbano. Good night. Yeah, whatever. My pleasures. Don't have nightmares now. Thanks. Thanks, you freaking son of a bitch. Duke, would you stay for a bit? I have to talk to you, and I don't think it can wait until morning. Oh, no. But with the near-classic story told, Durbano ponders at the plausibility of it. In view of the clouded facts surrounding the recent death of his friend, Matthew Carter, and the similarity between his death and the disappearance of Ichabod Crane. Wait, didn't that happen hundreds of years ago? What does the disappearance of Ichabod Crane have anything to do with the death of your friend today? Explain. And explain in detail right now, thank you. Never mind, okay. Duke. Yeah, I was just thinking about Matt's death. I mean, it's really got me stumped, Kim. 
I hate to keep bringing it up, but after all, that's why I'm here. I, I know, and I don't know how I could have survived without you. Yeah, well, point is, Matt was my best friend and your husband. But in six months, I haven't gotten a single lead. Isn't it just possible that his death was an accident? No, he was a good cop. Oh, he was a cop. Okay. He was onto something, something big involving Bones Bullinger. And just because I've fallen in love with you, oh, oh my god. Yeesh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Doesn't, well, you're suspect number one, lady. Okay, first of all. <laughs> ah! Okay. It doesn't mean I'm going to forsake Matt's memory. Oh, aren't you such a sweetie pie? Oh, look, it's a guy. Ominous man throwing a brick. I'm not asking you to. As if I'd give up myself, except, well, maybe you're wrong about this. Kim, get down! Ah, oh, look at it crash. Look at the crash straight through the window. I like where this is going. I like where this is going. All right. I said get down! Oh! Get behind something. The couch. What is it? It ain't a birthday cake. Now just do what I say. That's it. Move. If this baby goes off before I get it out of here, remember I said you were right about Matt's death. What is that's nothing? It's a brick. Oh, I guess it's a package. What's going on? What is all of this about? You keep your head up there and you'll find out. Not to mention having a good crack becoming the headless horseman. It was a bomb. It, it was it was what we call a room bomb. Yeah, because it was supposed to clear the room, but it didn't. Hey, you OK, Kim? I think so. What happened? Eh, let's just say that whoever killed Matt, well, he gave me the clue I've been looking for. Explain. I can you explain, please? Incomplete. Just explain. You mean they wanted to kill us? Yeah, you're a real looker, baby, but sometimes I wonder about your head. Whoever tossed that sure wasn't putting on a fireworks display for the kids. But where are you going? What if they come back? Well, to answer the first question, I'm going after them. It's a long shot, but I gotta try. And the second, they won't be back with me on their trail, so you call the cops and you sit tight. Don't worry about anything. I can take care of myself, remember? I'm a successful big city private eye. So dry your eyes and get on the phone. I'm gonna find who tossed that surprise package and killed Matt. And I'll give you a 10 to 1 it ain't no headless horseman. Well, I, I hope it is. I hope it is the headless horseman because that's what I'm here for. I'm not here for all this bullshit that you're giving me. Yeah, they've got a big jump on me, but they won't suspect I'm on in any shape to chase them. And that means they'll head for the interstate and I can cut them off using my back roads. Oh, look at him. Look at you with the scree. Oh, you young man. Oh, he's giving him the room. Uh oh. Headless Horseman? How could I have been so stupid? Too many monster movies on TV, I guess. Yeah, you are stupid. It's not the Headless Horseman. It's not him. It's, I don't know who it is. Just some dude in a suit. He threw it from his Buick. He, he, he was driving in a, I think it was a Buick. I'm not going back to check. But, <laughs> I mean, it's not the Headless Horseman. There he is. There's the guy. I found him, officer. He's right there. Yeah, we took care of her bones and got that private detective at the same time. Right. We're almost to the interstate now and we'll head straight for New York. Good. Just lay low in the city until you hear from me. I can't take any chances on being involved in the bombing. I've nothing to worry about. I hope you're right. Yeah, we're square with bones now. Let's move. Yeah, one thing, it bugs me. Before he died, Matt kept talking about a legend of the horseman. What? Did he now? Oh my god, you just cracked every, like, mental bone in my body. He told you about a legend of a headless horseman, then he died, then you seduced his wife, and then told that same legend to his kids as a bedtime story after he died. You're kind of fucked, dude. There's, I, 
I mean, what you did technically isn't wrong, but you're kind of fucked, right? Like, right? You guys get that, right? Like, this dude is kind of fucked. He's not the hero of this story. Tell me the Headless Horseman is the hero. Tell me that. Yeah, there's no time to worry about it now. They should be on the interstate. But I can still cut them off if I can keep this head on the road uh, at this speed. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, he's got he's got vintage shoes. What is that? A sk what? But I can't shake the thought. That I keep seeing that flaming skull. What do you mean? What do you what do you mean? You keep seeing that flaming skull and you mention this now? What do you mean? Is it really there? Is it an illusion? Oh my god, I'm I'm lost. Nuts! I better stop seeing her or I'll wind up upside down in a ditch. Come on, Duke, hang on! Is he gonna transform? Is he he's gonna become the headless horse individual? That's what's gonna happen. Eh, that was close, but it's straight rolling the rest of the way. So I can really open her up. All right, while well, you're opening her up, that's very good. So now I'm rid of the bothersome woman and her detective boyfriend. Now all that remains is to do away with her killers, and I'll be completely in the clear. Matt Slater, the poor fool. If he hadn't started meddling in my affairs, he'd be alive today, as would his lovely wife and Duke Durbano. But he did meddle, necessitating, necessitating their deaths. And the deaths of three hired killers from well from New York as well. What? You're going to kill the killers? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The twists and turns that this book takes. I, I'm getting PTSD over here. Jesus Christ. You're asking me to go in too many goddamn directions at once. So the bad guy is the Headless Horseman. The Headless Horseman rides again. Yeah, like Jesus Christ. Look at that. Okay, so he has a cloak that turns him into a skeleton, and presumably he has the power to rip off his own head and use it as a weapon. All right. Ha! Easiest hit we ever made. Ten grand for having a bomb through a window. <laughs> and in Hicktown, where there's no cops to get in our tail, man, we're home free. Hey, maybe I'm a little jumpy, but uh, this thing seems too easy to me. And somebody's coming off the ramp behind us, and he ain't going that fast because he's late for midnight mass. Hey, I missed him. Now I'm going to have to chase the crumbs. But at least I'm right on their tails, and there's no way they can outrun me. Eh, hey, step on it, Louie. Whoever it is, he's after us. But who? It ain't no cop. Hoodie'd have his red light on. Hey, take it easy, boys. Old Louie's lost the best of them. And I'll lose him. Oh no. Watch it, Louie. That truck. We're gonna hit it. What's the matter? Don't you guys got no faith in old Louie? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Eh, yeah, the heat's on them now. Glad they didn't smack the diesel. These jokers, I want them alive. And I'm gonna get them that way. Or I'm gonna die trying. And prove the horseman was just in Matt's imagination. It's not. It's real. Ah, for crying out loud, Louie, step on it. Louie, he's hanging on to the back bumper. I'm giving this heap all she's got. We just ain't fast enough to lose him. Oh, geez. Oh, really? Look at that. He's trying to knock us off the road with that bug. And this is getting out of hand. We got to stop him now. Oh, shit. With a bullet. Did he get him? Yeah, we got him. He's going off the road. Oh, shit. He went off the road. The private dick is dead. He went over the bank and we're home free now. Yeah, nice driving, Louie. Hold her nice and steady so we'll drill him. Hey, what's that? It looks like some clown driving down the wrong side of the road. Yeah, don't sweat it, Louie. Just get out of the way. Yeah, the last thing we got to worry about is some drunk driver. Wait a minute, what is that? No. No, it's the headless horse individual. Wait. Yeah, there he is. Quick, throw your fucking head at him. It's all you can fucking do. Jesus Christ. That is a beautiful drawing, though. Yeah! <laughs> Got him with the yeah. 
Hey, my head's splitting. Everything's spinning. But thought I heard some tires screaming. I have to get back to the road and see what happened. Okay, so he's safe. He, I guess he jumped off on the cliff and then something happened to these guys. Good Lord, what happened to them? I must have had a blown out of something. The driver lost control, but then suddenly <gasps> it can't be. But it is. It is the headless horse individual and he is going to fuck you up. Also, he happens to be a bad guy or something. He's he's a local crime boss is also the headless horseman. No, it must be the accident. That's it. I'm hallucinating, but it's so real. It's riding straight towards me. I got to get away. Shake this thing off, but my mind's playing tricks on me, but it keeps coming closer. Does it talk? Die, meddler, die. Yeah, it talks. <laughs> I have to run. I can't understand any of this. Only know is I have to run fast. He's right on top of me. I have to do something. Come on, brain. If we ever gonna wake, now's the time. Oh, he got him with the e ah Wait, what? No, no fucking way. Easy, darling. There's nothing to be afraid of. It was only a nightmare. Calm down. I'm here and everything's going to be okay. Trust me, you'll see. You were in an accident, but you're going to be fine. No, nothing's going to be okay. Matt was right. I saw him. Do you understand what I'm saying? Matt wasn't crazy and neither am I. I saw the headless horseman. You can't mean that. Just lie back and relax. It's the concussion you've got in the accident, that's all. Matt was possessed. Possessed with the thought of that Bones Bollinger was impersonating the horseman. To frighten businessmen into paying him protection monies. Right. Why didn't I think of that? Of course. Yeah, there is no headless horseman. But there is a Bones Bollinger. And he was out there tonight. He paid those thugs to bomb your house. He then rode out in some sort of costume and scared the killers into a fatal crash. But the last scare is gonna be on him. Duke, where are you going? You're hurt, you cannot leave. You watch me, sweetheart. I'm gonna get Bollinger in his office and I don't find that. And if I don't find his horseman suit, I'll donate my concussion to the medical sciences. What the fuck does that mean? And no answer. Maybe Bullying is playing Halloween again tonight, which means I'll have to go against my ethics and kick down the door. Can you do that as a private investigator? I don't know. Then, on the other hand, he's got no reason to be playing the horseman tonight. Therefore, the evidence I'm looking for ought to be around here somewhere. Oh, hey, look, brilliant deduction. I keep up at this rate, and I'm a guy named Bond. Better watch out. Yeah, all right. I don't think I don't think Bond's got shit to worry about. How about that? It looks like he had more than one reason for knocking off Matt. Are you serious? That's her? It is her. So three people are in love with this fucking mid five out of ten girl. Are you serious? One thing about working with psychos, it keeps you on your toes. Oh man. Oh oh, the creep's hot for Kim. But if that's true, why didn't you finish me off last night? I thought that was a dream. Now, if I was him, where would I hide my headless horseman? Ask and ye shall receive. I don't know what's causing that light, but I got a feeling it ain't a stockpile of gold. It's times like this, and I was Kane. Then I could just chop this phony panel open. Oh, there it is. You son of a gun. Looks like I just answered the $64,000 question. The local constabulary is going to be awfully interested in this. And I had a hunch Bullinger knew about the Headless Horseman's legend and had this costume made for him. But how is it like? But that's just like a skeleton. How is he wearing it? Something tells me I ought to take care of this myself. But for once in my life, I'm going to play it by the book. I'll go to Kim's house and call the local police from there. This is so this is all about the girl. Everybody wants to be with that. All right. All right. What? I'm very confused. I don't know if you guys are, are making any more sense of this, but I don't know. 
Sleepy Hollow. If I was the superstitious kid, I'd type it. I'd, I'd skip it. But I'll save 10 miles by cutting through. Oh my god, you idiot. Are you serious? Whatever. The Headless Horseman is real. I'll just go through Sleepy Hollow. That's fine. Get yourself together, Duke. Sure, it's a lonely country, but it's the road the Headless Horseman's supposed to have chased Ichabod Crane down. And just a legend. It's a legend Bollinger put to a lot of use. What now? I can't be out of gas. What the devil is wrong with this thing? Oh, it's probably just flooded or out when I went through that last dip. But god damn it. What is that? It sounded like a horse. Ah, fuck you. My lord. How did he get here so fast? I've got to get it together. I have to remember who he is. Concentrate on the fact that this is a showdown. Man to man. One good shot should put an end to this. Oh, nuts. They must have taken my heater at the hospital. Now I've just to use my car as a weapon. Yeah, run him down. Oh my god. I'm so scared. Now if I could just lead him for a little bit. There's a bridge up ahead. That's where I'll nail him. Jeez, what's he been feeding that horse? And he's gaining on me. Where the devil is the bridge? There it is. Oh my god, I'm so scared. If I could just hold him off. Maybe I can force him over the side. I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, Duke. Baby, this is going to be the big one. You either crowd him off or you've had it. You fucking idiot. What is it? Oh, he threw his head at you. Well, you win. He threw his head at you. You basically won. Look at this shit. Look at this fucking shit. Oh, he fucking smashed, crashed, and splashed. <laughs> With a gasp. I got him. Smacked right into him. No way he couldn't have gone over. Nothing left to do but reach shore, call the police, and wait for him to find his body. Is that really? Wow, is that it? And it was Bones? You found a costume in his office? Yeah, it's just like I told you, sweetheart. You must have seen me, put the gob on, and followed me out here. Then when I got him in the bridge, I just nudged him over. Then it's over, Bullinger is dead. Matt's death has been avenged, and I am free to remarry. Immediately. Let me show you how much I want it. Yeah, <laughs> fucking... God. Did you guys even grieve? Grieving is a process. It takes time. I... And we can be together. I mean, if that's what you really want. Oh, you fucking... You sick... She's manipulating all of you. She's the headless horseman here. She's the headless horseman, femme. Okay, dear Bono. You really want to tell me what really happened here tonight? What do you mean? I already told you deputies. They're looking for the Bones' body right now. Uh, oh, God. Here we go. Not any more than that. I've called off the search. We're supposing we get this all straight to what actually happened. Oh, you have too much to drink and just ran off the bridge? What are you talking about? I told you men what happened. Bullinga tried to kill me. Dressed in some sort of phosphorescent costume. Yeah, there ain't no way that's possible, fella. You see, we found Bone's body several hours ago behind his office. It wasn't a mock on him. Must have been a heart attack. But the expression on his face looked like he'd been, well, scared to death. What? 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 What are you talking about, man? <laughs> this this undoes everything. Oh my god, this story had no structure. This story had no structure. It was complete madness. It went in a hundred different directions, took a million different turns. I don't get it. The end? Question mark? I don't know. I fucking guess not. I guess this is the end. There is no sequel to this. There's no part two. There's nothing. I guess... I feel like there needs to be a post-mortem here. Like... Okay, so 
the headless horseman is real but also there's a man who's impersonating him was it matt is matt a zombie fuck it i'm never i'm never gonna know i'm never gonna know it's never it's fine i did this to myself it's halloween i have to read halloween books on halloween okay accept it anyway that's it for this comic if you liked reading this comic with me you want to read more comics with me like this video subscribe to the channel till next time nerds stay heroic